Hey, what's up, New York? Your man, H. Diggy, back on the block. Now, we've been a lot of places. A hey, slow down. Well, maybe speed up. <laughs> anyway, we've been a lot of places in the summer, man. But today, we are on the block. I mean, we were hanging out last week at the Laws. week before that. I think we were at Pier 1. You know, but today, we are outside of Art House North. That's Art House North, and it's located at 324 East A Street right here in Brooklyn. Now, they got a lot of new stuff going on in there, some funky stuff, man. The art in there is absolutely off the chain. These people live um, what they say. You know, they say they're artists, and they live like artists. And we're going to take you inside and show you what's going on, man, first right here on What's Up New York. Well, um, you're going to stay focused because we're going to be bringing you that and a lot more. We're talking about um, interviews from our recent trip to some fest in Jamaica. Um, we got guys like Bounty Killer, uh, uh, Vibes Cartel, Mavado, and of course, we had a chance to speak with the, the remaining members of uh, Voicemail to see how they were dealing with the loss of one of their members. So we're about to hop up inside Art House, a lot of kids. All right, and uh, we're gonna take you with us. All right, so uh, you check out this commercial and uh, we'll be back in a bit. Are you thinking of selling or buying a home? Find out what your house is worth today. Get a free comparable evaluation. We sell houses, co-ops, condos, mixed use and commercial buildings. We also do commercial and apartment rentals. Houses are bought in any condition, any location. We have homes available in Brooklyn, Queens, Long Island, Manhattan, and the Bronx. Call Century 21 Achievers Realty at 347-713-2562. That's 347-713-2562 for all your real estate business. Hey, what's up, New York? Welcome back. If you're just joining us, welcome. We are here inside the Art House North, located at 324 East A Street in Brooklyn with the curator the demonstrator, the man himself. Oh, no. Voodoo Fay. What's going on, baby? What's going on, Kat? Thank right. you for your time, Doug. Well, welcome to What's Up, New York. All right. Um, let's talk about, get right to it, uh, talk about Voodoo Fay culture. Voodoo Fay culture is New York's first, the world's first record label for visual artists. I am the first artist coming out of it. Uh, we're translating music, art, and fashion under one bridge. It's taking art outside of the gallery to bring it to common people to speak to common men. So where are you from originally? Where's your origin? All right. All right. I'm, a, I'm a Haitian. I said, yeah. That's what it is. That's it. All right, man. That's what's up. Thank you. That's what we're talking about. Um, anyway, people, now it's time for our artist interview. A question for you. Have you ever been to Reggae Sun Fest in Jamaica? No. Do you know an artist by the name of Mavado? Not the watch. <laughs> no. Uh, terminology gully. The terminology, yes. Uh, Gaza. No. Okay. Anyway, we've got a lot to teach you. Three, uh, one out of four? Yeah, that's not good. All right, pay attention to that screen. And people, we're about to bring you Lydia Patel's exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with Mavado from uh, Reggae Sunfest in Jamaica for the year 2010. Let's go. Welcome back, New York. If you're just joining us, once again, we are here at Art House North. Uh, located at 324 East 8th Street, right here in Brooklyn. Now, uh, we are with its curator, Voodoo Faye, the man himself. Now, uh, I'm going to say two words for you. Found art. What does that mean to you? Found art is the stuff that you throw out in the garbage that I will go into your garbage and dig out. From doors, wood, steel. You throw it out and I think it's cool. I can make it cooler. It's, it's the concept of taking garbage and making diamonds out of it. Like, yeah. uh, Talk to me about this biggie piece. Yeah. Uh, found this piece of wood, cut it in half to make these two pieces, but this one here we're dealing with first. It's a biggie piece. Uh, it's a popular image of them. The reason that it was picked is because of the crown. I believe in treating people better than you treat yourself. and I, I expect to be treated as king. So if I treat you better as a king, you're going to treat me back that, that same perception. And it's just a respect value. I respect what he did. I respect how he was, how he did it. I'm a BK dude, so I can't really do much more than that. Now that's what's up. We're talking about respect is due, king to king. All right. Um, now it's time uh, for a special interview uh, that may touch some of you personally. Recently, if you've uh, been following our Caribbean news, uh, voicemail lost a member. So um, Lydia Patel once again had a chance uh, to speak to the remaining members at a Reggae Sunfest in Jamaica uh, for the year 2010. So once again, back to the screen and Lydia Patel. 
a two. Tap the bottle and twist the cap. All righty then. Hey, people, welcome back. Hmm, you're still there. All right. Um, excellent. Moving interview uh, with voicemail. Um, we uh, feel for you and your loss, man. I can't imagine losing somebody close to me like that. I mean, must be a hard experience. But, um, folks, we have to move to that. Back to the business at hand. We are here inside our Art House North with Fudu Faith. All right. Now, um, these are all bottle caps. Let's talk about that. This took about three years to collect. Did you say three years? Three years. Um, it wasn't a thing of me going to uh, bars and nothing like that. What I would do, actually, after I got laid off my job, I figured here's the time to do something. And I went on a floor bench. Like, I would walk around New York City, Bushwick area, Williamsburg, go to city, and just pick caps off the floor, nail them down. I, I was told that you have collections of bottle caps. Where do you keep all these bottle caps? Garbage bags, uh, drawers in the back, boxes. Now talk to us about how you incorporate everything. You, you, you have a movement that incorporates art, music, and fashion. So the way we're looking at things is like trying to translate art outside of the gallery. So for those who aren't into gallery life, they don't know about galleries. So bring it to them. They're not going to go to you. So how do you, how do you, it's, it's, the distribution is different. How do you put it on, on a venue that makes sense to them? Put it on some clothing. They'll, they'll gravitate to it, but give it to them interesting. Um, the other thing with music is like we would take a piece of artwork and ask ourselves, how does that piece of artwork sound? And we will apply music to it or we'll make the music that sounds appropriate for it and also distribute that music to that particular audience. Wow, that's deep, man. All right, so how can people get in touch uh, with this movement? Very easy to find me. All right, website, Voodoo Fae Culture. Now, peep the spelling. is V-O-O-D-O-F-E.com. Now, are you aware that uh, the governor just shot down, uh, refused to sign a major piece of uh, legislation into law that would allow the police department to keep your information uh, when they stop you, even though you're not arrested? Actually, I do know about that. Right, point felt, man. So uh, we took our cameras to the streets to get some more views and opinions from you, John Q. Public. Check this out. We disagree with the whole situation as far as the police here, you know, writing our names down just to stop us. Like an incident where I had, I was just coming from a friend house, and basically what the, the police did, they stopped me saying that, you know, where, where am I coming from? So I told them exactly, you know, just to cooperate so it won't be any type of tension afterwards. So then after they asked me where I was coming from, they said, um, come here. They wanted to fill me up basically saying the black male, white t-shirt, blue jeans, and I had on shorts. So I had to change it. I was like, well, you, I don't have on jeans, I have on shorts. Well, they, they, they lift up my shirt, they didn't see I had any gun, write my name down. I was like, I know that's what you wanted anyway, gave them the ID, but basically it's just total BS. The other day, I think um, the guy checked me, and I, have not, I don't do nothing, I have nothing on me, and I think he kept my name too. I never knew that until you brought that to my attention. Great responses, people, but we've come to the end of our program. If you want to keep the conversation going, hit us up at facebook.com forward slash what's up TV. All right. Or you can hit me up at one Caribbean radio.com. All right. Uh, it was great hanging out with you, man. Where you at on the computer? Uh, Voodoofade.com. Yeah, you find me there. Find me. All right. That's what's up, New York. See you next week. Take care of yourselves and each other. All right. Ah! Okay. Bye bye. Are you thinking of selling or buying a home? Find out what your house is worth today. Get a free comparable evaluation. We sell houses, co-ops, condos, mixed-use and commercial buildings. We also do commercial and apartment rentals. Houses are bought in any condition, any location. We have homes available in Brooklyn, Queens, Long Island,